Okay, you know what? Doesn't look that bad. Bitch, is you blind? <laughs> Hello! So just quickly before we get into this video, I just want to explain a couple of things that I didn't really explain in the video. First off, I split my face down the middle and I did half my face with the hair brush, the hair makeup brush. And then the other side I obviously just did with my normal brushes, so uh, there's that. But also just secondly, the look that I was actually going for, after I finished filming the video, I kind of wiped off my eyes and then like redid them properly and then posted a photo onto Instagram. So if you want to see the actual makeup look that I was going for after this video, then go to my Instagram because I'm going to be posting a photo there right now. Because let's just say that using your own hair to do your makeup is not ideal. But I mean, we all make mistakes, but we all stick together and that's what mean queens do. Am I right, ladies? Hey bitch. Hey guys, it's Ben Blue here. And just in case you guys didn't already know, I'm a beauty guru. I absolutely know that saying things like that actually doesn't convince anyone that I actually am a beauty guru, but I'm a beauty guru. It is so hot in Australia right now, and now I'm about to pile makeup on my face and probably sweat it all off, so... <laughs> Great. But basically what we're going to be doing in this video is there was this video going viral on Twitter and Facebook and basically it was like a makeup hack video and the makeup hack was you cut off your own hair and then use it to make your own makeup brush. Is that a smart thing to be doing? No. But are we going to do it anyway? Yes. And as you can tell by my location, I'm not in my usual filming spot. This isn't actually a proper backdrop. Uh, it's a wall. Actually, my neighbors probably heard me do that. You know what? They can probably actually hear me filming this whole thing, so... <laughs> Great. But yeah, so I found the makeup hack video and I'll show it to you guys in a sec, but basically at some point between me finding the video and trying to put it on my computer, it's lost the audio and there was just like this stupid song playing in the background anyway, so I'm just gonna sing while the video is playing and you're just gonna have to pretend that it's like another song. So here's this me singing a song because it's a makeup hack video and it lost the audio but here I am singing a song and I hope you guys appreciate the link that I go to to make sure you guys get audio behind this video wow it's really great is it still going I don't know I'm really craving potato chips but I ate them all before I started filming this video and I'm really sad now cause I got no potato chips but that's okay because I'm gonna get some more after I'm done filming okay so first things first I've got to cut my hair I don't know how much to take off maybe like that much. This is my normal makeup brush, so like, but I can probably like cut a curl a couple of times and then like piece them together, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, this is gonna go so badly. Oh, it's not cutting. Oh, no, it is cutting, hold on. Oh my gosh, okay, I have successfully cut off a curl. What I think I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna cut it in half again and then kind of put them together so it's a bit more thicker. They hot glued it to a pencil, but I don't have a pencil or hot glue, so I'm gonna be sticky taping it. This is literally the worst decision I've ever had in my whole entire YouTube career. And I have definitely done some stupid shit. Okay, something that I didn't account for is the fact that my hair is very curly. Like I knew that it would curl a little bit, but this is a bit <laughs> too intense. I don't know how I'm gonna do makeup with this. I honestly think I need more hair attached to it. This is what I'm going to try and use to put makeup on my face. Great, so I'm just gonna actually take this over to my bin and then trim it so it's a bit shorter. And we want it to be around this length, so... We can do that, possible. Also, just to let you guys know, this is an e.l.f. brush from Target, cost me one dollar. If you were that stuck on buying makeup brushes, then don't go gluing your hair to pencils. One dollar from Target. Okay, I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, I'm back. I actually had to take a quick 20 minutes to just like turn the aircon on and just cool down the room, and now I've... I've got my brush. It's... Uh... Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so bad, I'm so excited. Okay, first things first, let's just quickly prime my eyes. I'm just gonna put some Tarte concealer on my eyes. I didn't buy this, I actually got it from a friend, so... Isabella, I hope you're not watching this. If this works, I am going to be so shocked. Who knows, it might actually work. If this works, then I'm gonna be selling my own line of makeup brushes, so make sure you comment down below if you want some makeup brushes. Now I'm gonna put some loose powder on there just to set it. I'm also gonna tie back my hair because it is really hot and it's getting in my way. I think the worst part about this is, even though I'm gonna be doing makeup with a brush that is my literal hair. I can't really do makeup that well regardless, so <laughs> this is gonna be great. Okay, so I think the look that I'm gonna go for with this, I'm gonna use my Morphe palette, and I think let's just start it off easy. We'll just put like a brown base down. I'm gonna start with my non-hair eye first. 
This Morphe palette that I have is actually amazing and I can't wait for James Charles to bring out his. Obviously I'm on his PR list because can you see how good I am at makeup? I mean who wouldn't want me on their PR list, am I right? Other than every single makeup company after they see a video of me doing makeup with my own hair attached to a pen. Okay so that's this eye done. Now we're gonna try to do the same thing to my other eye with my brush that I made from my own hair. Oh my gosh, I think this is actually kind of working. You are absolutely joking. This is actually kind of working. I am freaking out. Morphe brushes who? One problem that I do already have is the fact that my hair is very scratchy. Like I'm not gonna lie, my $1 elf brush from Target is definitely feeling a lot better than my own human hair, but. Okay, so now moving on, I'm gonna take my Astralis Kaleidoscope palette and use this blue to go in the crease under the brown. Imagine if my other eye turned out better than this eye. That would be tragic. Okay, well this eye's not looking that great regardless, so maybe my hair makeup brush has a fighting chance. I'm trying to get this a little more precise because obviously the hairs on this brush flare out a bit more. Ow, it feels like it's exfoliating my eyelid. What the hell? Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Okay, look, as of right now, it's not as pigmented as this one, but not doing too badly, guys. I might have to pack the blue on a little bit more on this eye. Mm, they're pretty similar. Okay, let's just move on. Okay, so now that we've got that blue shade down, now we're gonna go in with a darker blue shade. This blue that I'm putting on my lid is definitely more of like a deeper, almost purpley blue. Kinda looks like I got punched in this eye, but don't worry, I'm gonna be fixing that. Now I'm just gonna be taking my hair makeup brush and trying to do the same thing to this eye. Okay, yeah, this is not working at all. Oh, maybe it actually is like a little bit, but only like a really little bit. Okay, you know what? Doesn't look that bad. Bitch, is you blind? Okay, I'm just gonna quickly wipe off under this eye, do the rest of my makeup, and then come back to fix my eyes with my makeup brushes. So, give me one sec. I'm definitely not vibing this heat, but not much we can do about it. Let's get into finishing off the eyes. So I'm going back under the eye with this dark blue. I honestly am so excited to see how this turns out. I mean, it's obviously not gonna be like great, but oh, uh, you know what? I just stuffed this eye up and this is supposed to be the good eye. So uh, look, okay, yeah, I definitely ruined that eye. I get it. Oh my gosh, this is not going well. Ow. Ow. It hurts so much poking myself with this hair. You know what though? It's actually not looking that different to my other eye. Mm, oh, no, it looks bad. Maybe I'll just try putting some mascara on and see if that changes anything. Also, I kind of feel like this lip color was a bad choice. Like I definitely should have gone for a lighter shade, but I'm an idiot. I just love a bold lip, you know? Oh. <gasps> no. I just got mascara all over the bottom of this I am not dealing with this today. Oh my gosh, I got it everywhere. I am such an idiot. I look like a clown. Like I look like a literal clown, but like not a good clown. I look like a Craigslist clown. Pay me the bare minimum and I will entertain your children. You know what, we weren't doing too badly until I just stuffed it up just then, so. I'm also gonna change my lip color really quickly because I am not vibing this. I guess I should probably stop wondering why people don't put me on their PR lists because maybe this is why. That even looks better just like that, with just this lip. Okay, you know what? This lip looks a little bit better. Still not great. But let's just quickly do a montage. Okay, so I guess this is the makeup look for this video. I'm actually gonna redo my makeup properly so I can take some Instagram photos to upload. So make sure you go to my Instagram and comment on those photos once I upload them. Also, please make sure you click subscribe if you haven't already because I post two new videos every week. And click the notification bell if you haven't already so you get notified every time I upload a video. But that's all I really wanted to say in this video and I will see you bitches in the next video. Adios, bitches. Bye.